Ms. Legalista here. Thank you for joining the video. It is the day of the global IT, I don't know, nightmare, things not coming online. I don't know. It has just been a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. I'm going to go ahead and pop over to this hair braiding scam. And I had pretty much a good idea, oops, of what I thought it was going to be. It's also helpful if I actually share the screen with you so that you can see it. And so that it has an opportunity to, to load up there. I'm going to sit there for a second. Let me tell you, I already had an idea of what this scam was going to look like. I was like, you know what? I think I know how this is going to go. I know exactly what this is going to look like. And guess what? I was right. I was right. Primarily because if you have hired someone to do your hair recently, you likely use the same process if you were looking for someone. And then number two, just knowing how these scams and frauds work. Yeah, it was kind of easy to come to a conclusion about what this looked like. Let me go ahead and hit play and stop talking. Many people enjoy the weather and go on vacation. You might opt to get your hair done first. And for those looking to get braids, watch out. The Better Business Bureau is now getting reports of scams targeting clients who want that style. And they're using real stylist work to do it. News 2's Corey Johnson explains. I'm Portia, the all one diva. She does it all. For the last 10 years, Portia Hensley has braided hair. She got licensed in 2005, shortly after opening her own salon, Divine Innovation 615 in Nashville. I do box braids, I do weaving services, I do feed-ins, I do twists. With summer in full swing, braids are a popular protective style to book. It's not uncommon for clients to get on social media and find braid styles that they like. These styles can cost hundreds of dollars. In order to book them, it's common practice for a small deposit to be made in order to be placed on the stylist's calendar. All righty. Now, you know, when I was looking for somebody to lock my hair, I actually went to a friend of my daughter's and said, hey, I like your hair. Who's doing your hair? He gave me the person's name and that's who I went with. I follow that person on Instagram now and this person is doing great things. And guess what? This person, the stylist, it did require me to put down a deposit and say which services I was going to be getting when I came to the shop. So yes, this is a process that we're all doing now, checking people out on social media so that we can get their services, including hair stuff. It's work Portia tells News 2 she's found passion in. I feel creative. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I'm creating something for my client um, that empowers them to go through life and their day feeling good and looking good about themselves. But the braiding booking process is something scammers are now on to. According to the Better Business Bureau of Middle Tennessee, they've gotten reports of bad actors taking pictures from other stylists and posting them to fake social media pages claiming they can do the work. Then when a potential client goes to book and sends a deposit, they don't find out until their appointment when they never hear from that person that it was actually a scam. It's a legal activity that's impacted Porsche's business this year. I had a client call and say, hey, I'm at the door and I'm and I'm like, what door? You know, I'm with the client and we come to find out that the person actually took their money, took a deposit. It was shocking that they used so much of my stuff that I work hard for. And I feel bad that I couldn't help her. And Portia isn't alone. BBB officials say they've received a few reports of scams involving braids. Unfortunately, social media scams are not new. We see scams ebb and flow every day based on what's going on in the marketplace. There are a few steps you can take to make sure you don't fall victim, including never pay for a service in full before the appointment. Visit the location where the braider claims to work before booking. Verify their work by searching for the stylist online and typing in scam after their name. And ask for their braider license number and look them up. Despite a Now, the one thing they didn't have up there was, you know, ask somebody who is already using someone's services. Generally, that's what we do a lot of times, right? We move to a new spot. We ask, hey, who are you using for your dental work? Hey, where are you getting your car done, you know, but here, 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 somebody has taken her information and is using it to scam other people. So then you have this second level of work now that you have to do if you aren't going to do the referral stuff that I just talked about. But let's go back and see um, how this ends. 
Got a scammer using her pictures. Portia says she's not deterred from continuing to do the work she loves. No, there's nothing that anyone can do to stop what's in store. Corey Johnson, News 2. Well, there you go. Okay, so let's break this back down because the hair stylist scammers are out there. They're coming after our money now. We can't even go get our hair done. Think about it. We cannot even go get our hair done and not even getting it done. We're just making the deposit for the appointment. We haven't even gotten in the shop yet. You're never going to get into the shop because it turns out that this party is a scam. So really and truly, what can you do to figure all of this out and keep your money in your pocket and not get scammed by some of this stuff? Well, hey, let's get rid of that picture. All right. <laughs> what can you do? Well, first of all, like I said before, try to contact referrals that you have obtained from people that you already know. I love doing that because it saves me time, saves me energy, effort. I don't have to go really, really check them out because I saw their work at so-and-so's house. I saw them post it and share it on social media. So now, you know, yes, I may do a second level of research just to make sure nothing's changed since the time my neighbor used them. But generally that can be a really good place to start, especially if you're short of time, right? But if you're going to be on social media and you're going to be following a lot of these stylists, I even follow people that do hair. If you're going to be following them, make sure that you then do that research to make sure that they are legitimate, that the pictures that they are sharing are theirs. And you can actually now take some of these pictures and put them in a Google search and do a search for them. You can look, you can look to see where else these pictures are on the internet. I'm not telling you to do all of that, but what I am saying is verify who they are. Are they on social media? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Facebook? Do they list a location? Do they have a telephone number and email address? And then look them up in terms of licensing. Google their name, call them up at other numbers that show up. Like really do your research before you hand over your hard earned money. And don't just be out there thinking that all of these people are legitimate. We now have to have this mindset when we go on Instagram that some of this stuff is just a lie. Some of this stuff is very fake. Some of this stuff is a scam. That is all it is. So if you are now aware, you know, people out there looking on the internet, trying to find a hairstylist, tell them to be careful. Tell them to be careful. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.